hurts me sometimes when I see the youth and kids getting on the computer and I don't even really know how to turn one on. Learning and looking for work, it's all on computers, everything. I'm also a peer counselor, so trying to do anything, you go to job fairs, you can't do anything without a computer, without computer skills. People that are homeless tend to have serious privacy issues. You know, some people don't want to be in the system, and once you get in cyberspace, you know, they, they're very reluctant about this. There's even, there's even less access now for people who are homeless especially in the downtown area than there was, say, five years ago. A lot of people that are homeless, they tend to go to the libraries, and sometimes that can be an issue. Because if they see that you're carrying a backpack or whatever, people have stereotypes. So you're labeled, and, and therefore, you know, you have time limits, and sometimes they're um, kind of feel uncomfortable with that situation. Libraries are so limited in time and so many people are using them so people are talking about the fact that they were just having real trouble um, getting access for basic things like being able to email, check emails, things like that. The world is, the world is high tech technology and to keep up with technology you have to keep up and be prepared and to learn or you're going to be left out in the cold. We decided to apply for a grant to see if we can get some netbook computers to loan out to people in our groups so that we could start doing something in the meantime, especially about you know, working on the literacy angle. And decided to do that. We got the funding and we, the group decided the rules and procedures for the loans. And also we had recruited people within the group that had some skills. Well, I think the Netbook pro uh, Lending Program is a great program um, basically because it gives people the opportunity to be able to have a notebook for themselves and they can do things where they can either go to a coffee shop, they could go to McDonald's or someplace out there where they can get onto the internet. By open access, getting these notebook computers will give me a chance to learn. This, for me, a guy like me, I've got to start from scratch. You know, that means turning it on, doing the mouse, all that, start from scratch. So I'm taking computer classes right now, starting with the, with the mouse. I just did the mouse exercise in here, but I'm actually taking computer class at St. Croix Falls Library. So we just went through the mouse last week and then through the email this week and next week we'll be searching and, and then the final week will be uh, Facebook. So that'll kind of get me get me rolling as far as getting used to using the computer. It's a social you know kind of uh, uh, focus we're having you know we want people to learn together and not just be learning individually and isolated and so people going to the group decided that the guidelines for the amount of time people could have alone uh, would be two weeks if they were participating in a learning group. If they were just doing it as an individual, they could have it for three days. And so I'm going to be one of the trainers as well on these computers, basic computer skills for our clients. And I just feel in this day of technology, it changes like every five seconds. So without these basic skills and our 50s plus group, and a lot of our people can't even get much less find work. They already have other situations. They're homeless and they don't have access to a computer, much less knowing how to use a computer. So how are they going to find work? They can't find work. They can't find anything without this. So I think the ability to be able to lend out the computers to people um, is a really good thing because like I said, there's a lot of people that just don't have them and they just don't have the computer savvy. Even though uh, I may not be able to afford a notebook or something right now, I can have access to that from time to time. You know, we don't, we want to, we, we, we want to include people in American society. We want to, we don't want to exclude. So then, you know, you feel, you, 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 you feel good about yourself. You feel like you're included. People haven't forgotten about you. So there's a psyche there also, not just about the network, but it's the fact that someone's going to trust me to let me lend me a notebook. So there's a trust element to it, there's a self-esteem issue for something. 
That's where I'm at now. I don't have a clue. I can hear people talk. I, I can under, I can even understand some of the terms of computers, but I don't have a clue to know how to do it. So I definitely am in need of two leads and somebody to learn me how to do it. And then once I learn how to do it, I'll get to reap the benefits that computers offer. Such as what? Going online to shop, going online to find out about historical events and stuff like that. You know, just going online, maybe in the Lonely Hearts Club or something like that. 